Hey guys, it's Aldebar Art here, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be going over Samsung Galaxy Tablet Artist Tips. These can apply to all sorts of different types of tablets, mostly geared towards Android, of course. I'm using a Samsung S6 Lite, if you're wondering. I'm going to be starting off with, like, the best thing first, because this will literally change your world as an artist. I am not joking, okay? Like, I am not joking. This is amazing. Quickly, you are limited to the programs available on your Play Store. You can only really get a mobile apps, which is really awful because you don't have fully functioning abilities. If you're drawing, you don't have Photoshop, and you can't have Paint Tool Sci, all that kind of stuff. This one app will change your life. If you don't already have a drawing tablet, like the type that you can take that plugs directly into your computer so you can use your, um, basically your drawing pen for your computer. <laughs> if you don't already have one, now you can have one. If you have any kind of Android tablet. Let me explain. This is an app called Super Display. You can download it off the Google Play Store. But you can also download it to your computer. There is a free trial of, I believe, seven days, and then after that you have to pay for it. I think it was like $10 or something, but this was literally worth every single cent I spent on it, okay? This will give you access to everything a normal drawing tablet user has. And more. And by and more, I mean that you also have the regular functioning to help. Download it on both of the devices you want to connect. You can either connect it with a USB or with Wi-Fi. Right now, I'm using Wi-Fi. Note that Wi-Fi may be slower depending on your connections, but I'm just showing you guys with Wi-Fi because it's much easier. I don't want to get cords in the way right now. Before I get into that, I just want to go ahead and show you the settings. This works with your S Pen with pen pressure sensitivity, which I think is a big deal. Typically, you have pen pressure sensitivity on the apps you use, but now the fact that you can also use it on your computer app, it's just, it's amazing. I'm, I'm in love. Okay. Um, you can also set your um, pen button function. To, I set it to right click because obviously this is going to work as a mouse. When you tap on it, it's going to work as like a left click on your mouse. So I set the button to right click. There's like there's just so many different options here. So another one is you can connect automatically, which means the moment you plug your USB into your computer and into your tablet, it just automatically boots up, which is really cool. It saves you some time. There's advanced settings as well. So you can change the quality, refresh rate, all that kind of stuff but I'm currently connected via Wi-Fi. All you have to do, after you have it purchased, and after you have it all set up, you just gotta tap. Give it one second, it's gonna boot up. Now, if you guys are noticing any lag, please note, it's actually not my Wi-Fi. If you notice any lag at all, this is going to be due to my computer. I have a slower, older computer, but this is a newer tablet, so it's nothing to do with the tablet, it's nothing to do with the app, it's just entirely my computer. I have a slow computer, it's annoying, but yeah, that's that's what life is, right? You can even hover and stuff. You can see your little, I'm not sure if you guys can see, like, there's a little dot hovering basically wherever I hold the pen, and I don't, I can kind of show you my computer screen in here somewhere. You can hopefully see, like, the little cursor. This moves rather fast, even on my older laptop, so that's something to note if you have an older PC. But this would allow me to use Photoshop, full version of Media Bang Paint. I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys an example. I'm going to open up Media Bang Paint. If you want to use some like really cool free apps, you can get like Media Bang Paint on your tablet normally on the Google Play Store. But if you can, get this app because it's a one-time purchase, it's not a subscription, and it'll allow you to use the full version of Media Bang Paint Pro on here. Okay, here we go. Again, this is due to my computer, not due to the tablet. Also, I haven't updated my baby my paint, so I'm just gonna open up a new file in here just to show you guys the pen pressure sensitivity. I am drawing light, and here I am drawing heavy. Hopefully, you guys can see. And again, any lag you see is due to my computer, not due to this. If you guys are trying to get into YouTube, TikTok, or whatever it is, you need a screen recorder. And most times, it is like so hard to find a screen recorder on like for like your computer and stuff. Like it is just so frustrating because a lot of them have watermarks. It's on how much you can record and stuff. If you're trying to find a free one, here's the thing: on the Samsung tablet, it actually comes with a screen recorder. I'm not sure if you guys can see this here. There is a screen recorder available in your notification bar. This is awesome because it, you can record with or without audio, you can edit the video quality, all that stuff. It is just, it is amazing. I haven't had a single problem with it. I've been using it for my speed paints and stuff. It is just awesome. I haven't actually tried it, but you could probably combine the screen recorder, the Super Display app, and you could probably record your computer screen as well if you're trying to do gaming and stuff. I don't know how that well that would work out, but that's just an idea if you guys are looking for a free screen recorder for your computer as well. But this screen recorder is awesome. 
and it has some, I'm just going to do this as an example, I'm going to record with no sound. It actually has this little um, pause and stop button that you can move around all over your screen. I don't know what this does. Okay, this is just a bigger clicker, I guess, if you want to be able to have a more visible cursor. And there's a little pen, so you can draw on your screen as well, which is really awesome. And you just have to tap on it again to get rid of it. It's like a really awesome little tool that comes with your tablet, which I'm just saying, it's amazing. So if you guys are looking for a really good video editor, I really recommend trying out Cut Video Editor. Um, it's a really smooth, seamless app, and personally, I haven't had any problems converting the video. It normally converts a really long, like, even like a 20 minute video in under an hour. So if you're looking for a good video editor to go with that screen recorder, I recommend trying out Ucut. There's no watermark and all that kind of stuff. And they also have a pro version, which just kind of gets sort of ads on the app, but honestly, it's just an amazing app overall. Now, if you are trying to find a good drawing app that you can use on the go when you aren't connected to your computer, or if you're just looking for one to use all the time. There is actually Clip Studio Paint, a full version of Clip Studio Paint available on the Galaxy App Store. It's not available on the Google Play Store, but this is a game changer. This would allow you to do animations and full drawings, and it's just, it's an amazing, amazing app. And not a whole lot of people know about it, but there's like a, I believe a six month free trial I'm on right now. And then after that, I think it's a subscription based thing. So that's the only thing you really have to watch out for. But literally like there's, and you can look up Clip Studio Paint tutorials, but this is just, it's huge because this isn't just a full drawing app with full abilities. It's also an animation tool. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But if you don't want to use Clip Studio Paint, of course, there's always Media Bang Paint. And of course you have Media Bang Paint as well. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any tips you would like to add that I don't know about. Honestly, I love the Samsung S6 Lite if you're wondering about the tablet. Um, I, I like the pen. The only thing is sometimes I accidentally hit the button, so I might look into other pen options. I believe they have one from Stabler. There's like a Stabler digital pencil and stuff like that, and it's compatible with the S Pen feature, so I gotta look more into that. But hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Once again, if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright, bye!